Hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. Um, I debated whether or not I wanted to put this video on because it is a it's a serious um, serious subject, but um, it's something that you need to consider. Uh, if you got kids, or you got grandkids, and they have access to technology, uh, whether it's in your house, uh, a cell phone that they have, or friends that have cell phones, or a place that they can go and have access to technology, this is, these are things that you need to consider and think about. Uh, that are very serious so I'd like for you to watch it and um, you know if nothing else it's information that you can have that you can be aware of that you can think about and talk about with your kids so uh, I got this from years and years of you know administrative experience with my own daughters uh, you know these are things that you really if you've never stopped and thought about it you need to do let's talk about something that has to do with school uh, how about social media you might say well what's you know what's the big deal i mean everybody's got cell phones just part of society today you know all that kind of stuff and it is i agree with that you know teachers got cell phones the kids got them you know everybody's got them well here's the big deal all this stuff all the social media stuff um and all the search engines and all this kind of things they're all made for kids to be able to do stuff without you finding out uh, like Snapchat. Snapchat is made to be able to post something online and it go away immediately. Now, why do you need to have something like that? Why does that need to exist? Uh, these companies and the internet, they make things so that kids can do this and not get caught. And there are apps that they can hide things on that will look like a game or something like that on the phone and it really but it hides things so they make things the industry makes things like that for kids to be able to hide information uh, or to hide that they have been searching uh, and every kid knows what it is that information to kids is gold uh, to i mean they know they know how to search they know how to look and they know how to do things without you seeing it and they learn from other kids and it's just general information. I mean, the, the industry puts things out for them to do that on purpose. You know, it's almost like it's impossible to stop. I mean, not that you shouldn't try to stop it, you know, whatever. But like I said, the system is not set up to keep it safe. It's not set up to protect kids. It's set up to expose them to stuff. That's exactly what it's set up for. Um, anything that a kid wants to see anything that a kid wants to know about anything that a kid wants to hear anything that a kid wants to have any kind of experience with that's bad it's right there in their hand it's right there in their hand and they can look it up and they can look at it every day and they could do all this stuff and you never know about it Never have a clue. Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. And social media and just the internet in general, just, I mean, it just feeds, feeds off that stuff. Like if you were a kid, uh, when I was a kid, okay? Let's say you were somebody that was depressed all the time. Well, you might find another kid that's kind of depressed in your school. Hang out with them. Be depressed together. Now, if you're a kid that's depressed, you just get on whatever social media you want. Type in the word depression or depressed or I hate myself or whatever. Now you got millions of people just like you exactly like you and you all can just be in whatever kind of uh universe you want to be in together and feed off each other think about that think about that a kid that's depressed not talking to somebody you know that can help them not talking to a doctor not talking about talking to a million other kids that you know 
had the same kind of thoughts that they do. No wonder they get the ideas they get. I mean, no wonder. If a kid's interested in cutting, you know, cutting himself, go on there, find you a million people that like to cut. <laughs> and they can, that's what happens. That's what they do. It's bad. Social media, I mean, I like what I'm doing on it. I'm an adult. You know, I feel like I'm being responsible with it. But there's just parts of it. Like I said, it's not set up to protect kids or help kids or be helpful in any kind of way. It really is not. And because of all that, kids have very... Um, very strange viewpoints of, of what goes on in the world they don't they don't know outside of their little circle um, and when I say little circle I mean circle of influence on social media and I'll give you an example <clears throat> I had a girl she did a, uh, when I was teaching, she did a survey for one of the classes, like it was a psychology class. So she did this survey. So she came in and she gave the results for survey. And she, you know, starts reading it to the class. She said, okay, according to my survey, 70% um, of people smoke. And, and I said, whoa, 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 hang on. What are you, what are you talking about? She said, well, I did a survey and I, you know, went out, like you said, and I surveyed, well, how many people did you survey? You know, I surveyed like 20 people, you know. Okay. I said, well, listen, 70% of people do not smoke. Well, yeah, they do. And I was like, no, you know, because no, everybody smokes. I mean, everybody I know, you know, and all this kind of stuff. You know, I started thinking about it and I'm like, well, yeah, in her world, the people she watches, the people she hangs around and the people they smoke. So in her mind, that's what the world's like. And that's what happens with social media. They think everybody thinks like them. Because like I said, it's not just two or three people. It's millions of people. Oh, if it's all these people, then it is, you know, well, there's billions of people on the planet. All they know is what they see on social media. And they're not, they're, they're never exposed to anything. Um, that is different than what they like to watch like you know when we were kids you know you only had three channels and you watch what was on the three channels and you know that was all there was to watch well now if all you want to watch is stuff about people that you know are obese you can watch 24 hours a day stuff about people that are obese if you all you want to watch is fishing 24 hours a day all you gotta do is watch fishing you want to watch stuff about you know people that are what well, well, any kind of people i mean not anything midgets you want to watch stuff about little people and midgets 24 hours a day little, anything and no wonder people don't know no wonder people can't relate with other people or uh, see things from another person's viewpoint or have any tolerance for any other people because they don't know anything about any other people. All they know is the kind of people they like. And that's it. And that's what kids are getting taught through social media. Is that whatever, whatever they think and however they act is okay because there's all these other people that act the same way and think the same way. Cause I look on social media. So dad, you're the one that's weird. You're the one that acts different. All the people on social media act different than you. Teacher, you're the one that's crazy. Everybody on social media acts different than you. They all think different than you. Yeah, hey, you know when people worry about having their kids, you know, in uh, public schools and all this kind of stuff. You know, I can understand that. I mean, thing I always told my daughters was you know when you're in a classroom 
you're in there, you're in the, and I always tell them like you're in the public. I said, anywhere you're with people, you're in the public, whether it's Walmart, classroom, whatever. And in that public area, you're gonna have every kind of person that you can imagine. You're gonna have people that are, you know, schizophrenic. You're gonna have people that are bipolar. You're gonna have people that are depressed. You're gonna have people that are suicidal. You're gonna have people that do drugs. You're gonna have, I said, so in your classroom, in your high school, you know, cause there's thousands of kids there. There's people in your, you know, in your school that have these problems and you don't know who they are. So you just need to understand that. So you take that same concept and you give your kid a phone. Now you've just multiplied people they have access to from, you know, let's say they got a high school that's got 2,000. They go to a church that's got 500 and they go to, a, you know, whatever. You know, so instead of having thousands of people they have access to, now they got hundreds of millions of people that they have access to with every kind of viewpoint you can imagine and your kid has access to it if they got and don't try to tell me well i watch what and I, I can promise you kids know i mean that is that that information to a kid is gold it is gold to know how to get on the internet and get on your computer and do stuff and nobody find it and again not only is it big information to them it's big information to all these companies that are feeding your kids all this junk it's not the public schools it's not television kids don't even watch television anymore it's the it's social media and the internet that's what you need to be worried about that's a big deal that's why kids think uh, they think they deserve so much privacy now like i didn't expect any privacy when i was a kid i mean and the reason why is because all you had was a room and you didn't have nothing in it except a radio or a stereo and a bed and your stuff and if you had something in there that was bad you know your mom and dad would probably find it you know you know your mom look under your mattress oh whoa, look what you got and then now you got caught you know that kind of stuff well now they can have stuff hidden and they could have a whole different like like be a whole different person online have multiple different i mean have all kind of friends you don't know about uh i knew this one girl i mean i've seen it where kids like pose as adults and you know got uh teachers to say things to them online and all kind i mean you you have no idea how many <laughs> universes out there there are that they have access to that they may be involved in and you don't have any earthly idea so no wonder they think they deserve all this privacy i mean they have a whole world to themselves that you don't have access to